lesson. Today I'm gonna to teach you four basic sailing knots. Figure eight, square knot, stopper knot, and the bowline. The figure eight will be working with only one end of the line. So we'll stick the other one outside there. So you're going to take your single tail and make a loop with the tail and cross it over itself. So that's crossed over. Give yourself a little excess to work with. And then you're going to cross the tail behind and then stick it back through the loop. Pull tight, and there you have your figure eight. All right, so let's say you get to your cross and you forget to take it behind and you stick it through the back way. Now, if you get a knot that looks like this, you did something wrong. And that is how you tie a figure eight knot. All right, for your square knot, you're going to be working with two ends of a line. And I've made these different colors so that you can see where each line goes a little better. So the first step is to cross the right over the left. And then you're going to tie your shoes. So whether that's flipping it over or flipping the other one over, getting to this point is your goal. And then since we just came from right over left, we are now going to go left over right. Do the same cross behind, just like you're starting to tie your shoes. And then grab both of these and pull tight and adjust your knot, make sure it looks good. And that is a successful square knot. You don't have to go right over left to start your square knot. You can also go left over right, do your cross under or over, just like you're tying your shoes, and then right over left. But whatever you do first, you must do the opposite of in the second step. All right, troubleshooting time. So if you have crossed your right over your left and tied your shoes, and you go in for step two and you cross right over left again, you'll get something that looks all right, but you have a weird twist going on in the center of the knot and it's not quite a square knot. And that is how you tie a square knot. Next up we have our stopper knot. You'll also hear barrel knot. The barrel knot will only be working with one tail of the line. First step to a stopper knot is to take more excess line than you think you need and take it over your palm, wrap it around a few times, and then stick it through and maneuver it to the end. And there's your stopper knot. You can have two or three loops or however many you wrap around your hand. All right, so let's say you're wrapping it around your hand. If you go through the loops the way you just came from, nothing happens. Oh no! And that was how you tie a stopper knot. So now we're going to tie a bowline. So this is what a bowline looks like. And the tail is inside the loop. If you wind up with the tail outside the loop, then you've done something wrong. But we're going to go over the correct way to tie it to make sure that your tail is inside the loop. Okay, so the bowline is going to take both ends of the line. Let the pointer finger of your dominant hand rest on one end of the line, and in your non-dominant hand, take the other end of the line between your pointer finger and your middle finger, and your ring finger and your thumb, and then take your dominant hand and direct it through the triangle that you made with your non-dominant hand and the line, and then pinch it with the thumb of your dominant hand. For this next part, you're going to let the line slide through your thumb and your ring finger of your non-dominant hand as you twist the line with your dominant hand under towards you and up and then resituate yourself get your two tails out there and this is what you should be looking for this shape right here so all that step is doing is making sure that you have the right hole the right bunny and the right tree that's where the most mistakes happen when doing the bunny in the tree method all right so find your two tails here you're going to take the tail that came through the loop and wrap it around the other tail from behind and then stick it in front and back through the loop that it just came from. Pull the two ends tight, make sure it looks good, and that is a correct bowlin. All right, let's say instead of going behind the line with the one coming out of the loop, you go in front of it and then back through the loop. This will put your tail on the outside of the loop, and this is not a correct bowlin, unfortunately. All right, we're gonna do this again. Point your finger in the dominant hand on one side, make your triangle on your non-dominant hand, direct it through the triangle, but don't let your pointer finger leave it, and pinch it with your thumb where they intersect and twist under towards you and up, letting it slide through those two fingers. Now take it around behind and back through the loop and there's your bowlin. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know down below if you have any comments or questions or if you just want to chit chat. That's fine too. And I'll see you next time. Bye.